What's going on guys? So today I'm actually working on some pretty cool stuff. Um, not that I'm not usually working on other cool stuff, but basically what I'm doing is I'm redirecting all of the wires that are coming from the wheel speed sensors and going into my traction computer and I'm directing them into my Haltech, the engine management that will be controlling the engine, but now will also be controlling my ABS system since I'm ripping out my ABS system and replacing it with a Chase Base uh, ABS delete. So I won't be running ABS for what Toyota originally designed for the car, but I will be running ABS through the Haltech. And I'm just gonna talk about the basics and setting that up. I'm not going, this isn't going to be a full in-depth detailed video. My purpose of this video is to give you enough information to where you can jump into this and do it yourself. So I'm going to say what the wires are to tap into and then the basic configuration settings that are in the Haltech in order to set up the traction control, the switch that will control the traction control, all that stuff I'm actually using the factory IS300 stuff. So the A connector, so just to show you where, before I go into any of the wires. So this is the traction computer. And I know this because right there it says heh, TRC, to traction control. In order to get to this easily, I had to remove this little bar here, which I had some of the stuff mounted to, which is why this is all dangling right now and, and just an ugly mess, because I've disconnected it from my Haltech power uh, distribution thing is over there and other wires I need to kind of dress up and get them tucked away but that's how it is so this there's three bolts that hold this in so you take this out and then when you look up here you will see this sitting in this orientation so sticker would be on the left this bracket would be on the right you have a 10 millimeter nut or bolt I forget that's on this back side here where my finger is wiggling in the very, very back. And you have a 10 millimeter that's up here. So this is tucked away fairly high. Um, and it's, you can get to it without removing this. That's how I pulled it off. But when I was working with, uh, with tapping into the wires or, or cutting the wires on the A connector and the B connector, which are these top two. So this top connector is A and the second connector down is B. So A connector and B connector are those whenever i was cutting the wires on that i i had to take off this metal bracket that was when i actually pulled this off so it's considerably easier to work around it it's still difficult especially with the a connector the b connector this is the b connector i actually labeled it b so this is the b connector the a connector i think is it this one it's the one that's in the back basically whenever you disconnect it from this that you'll know uh, but it's the hardest one to get to and i believe that's this one that's over here so i think it's that one but there's two more this i popped this out of the way also because this little thing was in the way and it just like comes off of a little uh little thing that it's on up here so with this thing out of the way it's a little bit easier that's how you get to your a connector and b connector your front wheels are on a connector when they're the most difficult ones to get to rear wheels are on b connector and with the haltech if you're going to use abs you need at least front and rear because it's a rear wheel drive car so that's the way the that's the way haltech set up their stuff so if you're going to use haltech's abs you need at least one front wheel speed sensor and one rear wheel speed sensor set up since they're both on the a connector and they're equally hard to get to I just really pulled off both of them. With wiring this in, so there's two wires that are coming from the wheel speed sensor. The, the wheel speed sensor is a reluctor sensor, which is a very important to know because on some cars you have a Hall Effect, uh, Hall Effect speed sensor, wheel speed sensor, and that would be three wires most of the time. They can be two wires, but they're usually the three wires. In this case, we do have two wire sensors and they are reluctor sensors, so they need to be configured as such. One of the wires is going to be a ground wire, which you need to wire this in accordance to how your engine management, which in my case, I'm using the Haltech Elite, and Haltech Elite wants your sensor ground separated from your chassis ground. So this I am tying into my sensor ground. That's why I have them brown, because that's the Toyota Lexus way. Sensor ground is brown and chassis ground is white with a black stripe. That's every Toyota that I have ever worked on has been like that. So I have four wires coming from the wheel speed sensors 
and the colors of them aren't these colors that I have here. That's just random wires that I've used from other wire harnesses that I've kept. But the colors of them, so front, uh, front left sensor, you're going to have your ground wire is like a violet color. And that is connector A27. A28 is the positive wire and that would go to the Haltech. And that's this light green color. Front right sensor, so I said front left sensor is this violet purple-ish color. And that's that A connector, which is the top one, which is the hardest one to get to. I'll have a picture popping up that I took of those wires and the location on this connector. So uh, also I'm figuring just to just to take a little side note for a second, I, I'm like figuring all this stuff out myself, tracing out the wires myself. I couldn't find any information online to make this easier for me. So I had to find the traction computer, I had to find, I had to dig through the wire diagram, find the wires, find the wire colors. So if you want to buy me a coffee, my PayPal link will be in the description. Five bucks is fine. I'll be happy. I like coffee. So, yeah. Um, I don't really ask for much, but yeah, this was, this was a lot of digging, especially with uh, finding out like the 48 teeth that's on the reluctor gear on the, uh, for the ABS ring. And it turns out I don't even need the 48 teeth. That's mainly just me giving you that information because I found it online. So... Anyway, uh, front right wheel speed sensor is, uh, so pins A12 and A13, so pins 12 and 13 in this A connector, and uh, pin 12 is black, pin 13 is orange, rear, so that the, uh, the ground wire will be blue, and then the wire going into the Haltech would be red, or whatever your other engine management is. And then, so that's, uh, what is that? Rear left, rear right is, I think it's this gray, GR. I think GR is gray. So gray is the one that goes into your engine management or Haltech. And then the signal ground is black. Uh, keep in mind, those two are B connector and you have like a, you have a black on the B connector and you have a black on the A connector. They're for separate wheels, so keep that in mind. Track off switch here. So I'm tapping into the track off switch that was also on, so this is on C connector, so C7, and I'll have that one popping up also. But that's this connector here. There's not many wires on that one. Uh, I've cut that, I've extended it here. So we're feeding into the Haltech. It's a ground switch, so whenever you set it up, um, actually, you, you would set it up as such in your whatever your engine management is. So it would be switching to ground. So it would be set up as, as sensing uh, switch to ground. But uh, yeah, so that is that. I, I, unfortunately, I can't show it with it on the car, with it on and everything set up. I don't even have the power connected to the car right now, even though everything I'm, I'm like wiring it all in. But um, that's how you would wire in your wheel speed sensors, your track light. All right, so I'm coming down to the so vehicle speed sensors. So these are the ones that I've selected. These are the connections, right? It's a uh, falling edge. Falling edge would be if you're if you have it shorting, not shorting. Falling edge would be like if you have it going to ground. Rising edge would be if you have it going to voltage. It's a reluctor type sensor. Uh, frequency time constant. I'm not going to worry about that, but. Yeah, the uh, connections that I'm using, you have to use this the synchronized pulse input. Um, so this is one, two, three, four. There's four of them on the Haltech Elite 2500. And yeah, so I have it set to average all. That's not super important. Uh, as far as calibration goes, this is where I was actually thinking I could put the gear teeth in. It's a 48 tooth, but I, I don't have to I don't have anywhere that I could put that information in. So I, it looks like I'm gonna to have to calibrate this whenever I'm driving the car. So what I'll be doing is I'll be driving at 37.3 miles per hour or whatever I want. So I'll just be looking at my GPS on my phone and the speed that I'm going based off of the, the GPS satellites that my phone sees. And uh, once I'm driving at, well, it's not going to be 37.3, but once I'm driving at like 37 miles per hour, then I'm, I'll, I'll just click the calibrate button and then 
let it, uh, let it calibrate how many pulses it is going at that speed. The derive channels, I'm not gonna worry about, that's just like average. The diagnostics, you can set up the, um, the check engine lights to come on. So if you want like check engine lights to come on for all of them, if you have any problems with the wheel speed sensors, then, then you can set up like whether you want the light to come on or whether you want it to blink and all of that, you know. Uh, so it's, yeah. So that's that. Uh, as, as far as traction control, so I have this set as a PID control from vehicle speeds, which basically means that it w it'll taper off based off of how you want it to taper off. You, you can also do percentage cut if you want it to cut a certain percentage, but mine is, it's that. The input mode is digital switched because I have my little DPO um, switch that's up here. So the traction, no, that's not it. Traction switch. Oh wait, no, it's a uh, traction control here. So I select the I selected the switch here. Um, so I selected the switch, and then you can go into settings, and then you can make little conditions. This was this wasn't selected whenever I I, uh, I came in here, but um, condition enable. So when traction switch control is on, and you do whatever if you're above a certain speed this is what this is above 0.1 so once if I'm going 0 0.0 miles per hour then it doesn't it's not there's no traction control enabled but 0.1 it is enabled eh, you can set that to whatever on the traction control here so I have this set up as PID control from vehicle speeds and then the ramp out rate I have set to moderate you, moderate you can do soft moderate aggressive right and that's how how aggressive it is on the PID control. So you can set up a percentage on the PID control here on the desired slip table. So this is set to 10%, and I just you just need one value, really. You can set it to 20%, um, and how aggressive you want it to, to taper off to 10% or to 20% or whatever is up to you. But you want it to be a soft taper off to 20%, or you want it to be a aggressive taper off to super aggressive taper off to 5% or just a medium medium taper off to 10%, like it's all, yeah, whatever, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's that, that's everything I can think of to really set this up. If you're looking at this and thinking like, oh, you, why do you have this set up on your car? Well, uh, so this is just an example. This, I haven't fully configured this for my car yet because I'm still, I'm just finishing up all the wiring and all of my wire allocations and everything. So that's it. That's everything that I could think of to run through regarding what I've been doing for the traction control, the ABS, the, the, the traction switch. So if you found this helpful and informative, if you want to buy me a coffee, again, the PayPal link is in the description. Um, so I, I actually had a lot of fun doing this, thinking like, ha ha ha, I'm tapping into all four of my wheel sensors just because, I don't know, like I'm a car nerd, I geek out on stuff like that. And I have all of the inputs available on the Haltech to be able to do this stuff, so it's really cool. But that's it for this video. More cool stuff is coming. My next little video, I'm actually going to be talking about the G35 pedal that I have in the IS300 as a full drive-by-wire pedal, not the dumb cable thing that's going through the firewall and going into the engine bay area. I actually have drive-by-wire pedal assembly from the G35 that somewhat matches the IS300 pedals. So that's going to be my next video that I'll be editing and, and putting up, but this that shouldn't work with an IS300 stock engine. That's a separate thing. I'll be talking about all of that in that video, but thanks a lot for watching this far. And as always, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think is the, the coolest thing that I have going on in here regarding my massive spaghetti wire mess. And uh, yeah, God bless you guys.